All right, guys, we're going to talk about Peggy real quick here. Um, it is still a good setup here. I did play this before. I'll be looking to buy this thing um, again. I did take the profit right here at the EMA 5. So why did I take the profit? Is because that has been known for big rejections. So when you're looking at Peggy here, we, we want to wait six daily candles when we hit this bottom band. When it does hit this bottom band, is it's extremely oversold and buyers tend to come in here. So right up in here, we just drop down, right? And we have six daily candles clearly touching here. And as you can see, we made a pretty nice return in the Discord. Anybody that took this with me, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So right in here is your six daily candle. And how convenient this is when it kind of consolidated and we had a move up. It was a very nice move. Um, uh, it's not, it's nothing like a tremendously big, but it's definitely a definitely a move to you know to really take. This was a 25% move. I took around 10% gains. As you know, once this touches EMA5, I'm done because a lot of the times I see it reject. Can it go higher? Absolutely, but I don't want to risk that. So um as we go into this trade here, what I would like to see is do we retouch this lower band? Now, do I need to wait 6 daily candles? No. I don't need to see that again. That's usually just on these big drops here. But um in my opinion, I do think the EMA 20 is going to get hit. When you look at this blue band here, it's labeled blue. It's very easy to see. Um, yeah, it, it hasn't hit it in a very long time. And, and I'm not just judging it based on that. Every price, you know, no matter what, it's going to hit the EMA 5, 10, and 20. Those are your reverses to me. But I love to play the 5 and the 10 as that gives me consistent gains. But it's good to see like, okay, well, what if it can go even higher so 719 is the last time we touched this EMA 20. Well, if we look at the current date, it's 925. So, I mean, you guys do the math. We're way over, you know, 817, 917. We're over that two-month mark. And um, since it's way above here, I do think it's going to come down some more. But it, you know, it very well could just, you know, hit this very fast. Do I see it happening anytime soon? No, I think it's going to take about two to three weeks. So um, why do I like Peggy? One, it's close to the lower band here. Obviously, I want to see it, you know, really touching it. We got very super close. We went 13 cents. It was low, you know, upper 12s. And then also what's good too is, you know, if you love... If you look at this just to the EMA5 again, you're looking at another 11% gain. So if you're just like really hating your average, you can keep refreshing on this EMA5 as that is going to be your rejection point. But keep in mind, it's going to go right past it here eventually. It can't just keep hitting it forever. Uh, the EMA10 is a 49% return. And then um, the EMA20 is 168% uh, potential. I really like this setup. I, I think this is a really nice setup um I, you know as long as you didn't just get on this big red candle here and you just kind of waited it out you've been totally fine with peggy so yes let's target this right in here anybody that are just now looking and you know kind of like you know should i get into peggy i think it's a very good one i'm going to look to get in on this lower band here see if we get that touch again i don't have to force myself into these trades if, if they don't align up to the exact setup i want then i'm not going to force it I want to see, can we get into this lower band? Um, do we have a nice return from here to the EMA5, which will have about 15% if it does. But keep in mind, this EMA5 will keep fluctuating down as price goes down. So that's why you want to make sure you have nice uh, potential average. Yeah, this was a nice trade in the Discord. Um, I alerted this in the Discord. Uh, I can probably find this uh, swing trade alerts. And you can see right here, favorite penny at the moment is Peggy. So when you go in my Discord, you know, we had this six daily candle mark here. Um, it's, you know, hugging AT. Oftentimes you see an explosive move up, even in the worst stocks there is. So this is when I really like Peggy at the 14 cent mark, which was, you know, right down in this area here. And, you know, I, and then I, I tell you guys exactly what's going on here. I said, Peggy is right here at the EMA five, definitely take the profit. And then here is Peggy right here, alerted in the discord, clearly touching the EMA five. It went a little bit above it. But that would be the gain I would take. So I, I try to keep you guys updated in the Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, click the link down below in the YouTube comments. And in the description, it'll say join the premium Discord for my alerts and system. It'll take you to this free chat landing page. Um, what you want to do is, uh, you know, when you click the link down below, uh, it'll take you to the free chat landing page. Please read how to subscribe. Because um, if you have an Android, you will have to use your computer or your phone's browser. But once you do that, you're all good. It's very easy. Avoid scammers. I'll never message you, DM you, or um, trade your accounts. I know that sounds funny, but a lot of people get scammed like that. Trust me, I will never do that. 
Um, and you can read all the testimonies of how accurate this server is and how we laid lots and lots of money. Hit the server shop in the top left and you can see the, the memberships I offer. Day in Swing Trading Plus is my highest value. When I take swing trades, I don't look to make money every day because as you can see, Peggy right here had to consolidate. We had to wait about a week's time frame to make money. So what I like to do is I like to day trade and then when I see a nice swing trade, I'll put my money in. I do two accumulations and then I have a stop loss of 20%. So it's not like ride or die. You know, we have clear rules, strict discipline. When I say I'm out of a trade, I'm out of the trade. And um, just because I, I, I want to follow the risk versus reward. In my opinion, Peggy was a very good risk versus reward right here. I saw it going up more than going down. And then just like I see, it's a very great risk versus reward if we start hitting this bottom band again. Will we hit it again? I'm not sure. But if it does, that is a very good area. Um, also, as you can see, the, we have a 7.95 on the KDJ. When I bought it last time, we were at near a 5. So I'll be looking at that region, this uh, stochastic Goss player. The lower it is, the better it is. But um, $11.99, you can't beat the price. It's very amazing. I promise you, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to be a part of a great community. We have people recommending trades and like there's a lot of trades i just don't see and, and someone's like hey you know this trade looks like it fits the system i was like yeah that is a really good trade and i take it myself so it's great to be a part of a community that are looking for these exact trades if you just hit day trade alerts right here um you can see when i do day trades and all that but that will also give you access to everything and it's only 12 bucks a month if you subscribe on your computer um it'll be the flat rate fee forever lifetime of 12 bucks it'll never go up if you do it on your phone you will have to pay a little more of an ios fee so do keep that in mind but you're going to see my rtk journal you're going to see me go live every day so you can catch me live see my setup see my chart have any questions you have in mind uh swing trade alerts which i showed you exactly what's going on um and then the community day trades along with stock suggestions where I find plays that people kind of like uh, tell me, hey, you know, this is looking like a good setup. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching about Peggy. I think it has a very good move up. As you can see, the percentages, the EMA 5 makes, you know, a good bit. EMA 10 is due for a touch. And then EMA 20 is way up there. The last time we touched the 10 was 906. Current date is 925. So we're due for that 10 too. So this is a great play. I, I think um, just remember, take the profit. Don't ever be like, if you ever ask yourself, should I take this profit? Um, the answer is probably most of the time, yes. Do you know? Because no one knows exactly where you know it's going to go. It could have went just hit here in EMA five rejected instantly, but it decided to go a little more. Could have hit the EMA ten right away. We don't really know, but we do know when is when you're in a positive gain and you you're making that ten to twenty percent. Take some off the table, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Definitely like this video. Subscribe, comment if you want to see more educational content. And I'll see you in, that, uh, in the Discord if you want to make some money. All right, peace out.